in Ohio who tripped this armed Yo, Sonny, how's it going? And a good Samaritan who body slammed a suspect at a Sam's Club gas station. <laughs> we got 720. Passerby saving an officer during a traffic stop gone wrong and much more. Here are the best moments of good Samaritan. Okay, you, I'm doing all right, thanks. Catch suspects. Did you have a good weekend? Ocala, Florida is a small city in Marion County, located halfway between Gainesville and Orlando. It's home to about 63,000 people and an army yes. veteran nice. values his morning coffee. He didn't appreciate coffee. the car thief. Did you go to Germany, uh, it was October 24th of... Uh, Sonny, did you go to Germany? Ocala ...were in pursuit of 39-year-old Michael Prouty, who had just broken into a woman's home and stolen her car. He I got my candy and my monsters from Germany. Fuck yeah. ...came face-to-face -face with the army man himself. He's now... Uh, oh, he just crashed at 40 and Pine. 40 and Pine. He crashed. Yeah, we're getting 40 and Pine. Did you bail it? 10 4 it's a white male bailing. White male brown shirt. He's in the Jimmy John's parking lot. He's now at Starbucks. Nobody was injured, of course. He's going right there. He's, he's taking that car. He's taking the car. Damn. Show me your hand! Show me your hand! Is he still trying to run? Even after all that? Jeez. Behind your back. Hands. 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 Put your hand behind your back. Come here now. What kind of monster did you get, Sonny? Meet Shane Spicer, a U.S. Army veteran who wouldn't let Prouty escape. It was early, and Shane hadn't had his morning Joe. But <laughs> tiredness didn't stop his instincts from kicking in when Prouty tried to carjack a pregnant woman in line at Starbucks. Prouty was you trying to carjack a pregnant woman? What the fuck is wrong with you? Including attempted carjacking, fleeing, and home invasion. He already had a lengthy criminal history, so hopefully this incident will keep him behind bars. Ocala police commended Spicer for his bravery. They also wanted to thank another good Samaritan named Tom, who helped slow Prouty down before he reached Starbucks. In case you're wondering, it is perfectly legal to help police catch a suspect. Just follow their commands and move when they tell you to. In fact, in many states, it's illegal not to assist a police officer who requests your help. I did not know that. <laughs> July 13th of 2023. Police officers in Tulsa, Oklahoma are questioning two people on the sidewalk. It's unclear what they did, juiced. but it was enough what to mean get juiced? their attention. They told the younger man, who identified himself as David, to take bye, a seat. Bye. David, however... Cops just need to knock the kneecaps off and they won't be running anywhere. You have to catch him first, though. We're gonna go down timber. We're gonna go up the left street. Just let it go. Black t-shirt. Very short. Man, bro. Man, homie. Fuck. They have guns. You're not supposed to use the guns. Monster? I had monster yesterday. I had the white one. The white zero sugar one. You can see the moment when our good Samaritan in orange drove by the arresting officers. He saw the chase in his rear view mirror and decided to intervene. The funny part is how he walks back to his truck like nothing happened. The <laughs> officer did get his name, but chose not to release it. As for David, he was By law, if a suspect runs, you're allowed to shoot them in non-lethal area to stop them. Burglary, yeah. And illegal firearm possession. As they say, not all heroes wear capes. Some just wear bright orange. Thanks to him, <laughs> Tulsa police got a dangerous criminal off the streets. But this is people helping the cops. This is people doing the work for the cops. <laughs> state police in Santa Fe County, New Mexico are That varies by state. Jimenez, Does it actually vary by state? A white Yo, Knox, how's it going? He was traveling with. He was racing toward the Mexican border when our officer caught up with him. Luckily, he wasn't hard to spot. 
Jimenez was driving like a maniac down State Road 6 well, they when a pregnant munch on their donuts. spotted his car. After Probably. a wild high-speed chase that involved several collisions and near misses, Jimenez decided to take his rage out on a passing biker and our pregnant officer. 10-4, looks like he's gonna try, he's slowing down, he's gonna take Old Denver Highway. 10-4, he's not gonna take Old Denver Highway, he has a tire iron. A what now? Oh. oh. <laughs> he's like, here, have a tire iron, I don't need mine. Income. He has, there's a biker! No, he just... <sighs> Yeah, it varies by state, because some states aren't allowed to fire arms like here. Yeah, true. 146 income. He is still driving down 63. We're going towards into Pagos. He attempted to hit a person on a bike. 146 income. There are more people on the bikes. This guy I'm doesn't know what he's doing. Head on. 146 income. He's still going. He's he's crashing my vehicle intentionally as well. We're here at the two. He's on foot. Now, now he's on foot. Jesus Christ! Stop! You listen to them tunes. <laughs> yeah, literally. He's listening to Sonic. I'm not taking you, dude. Stop! Stop! Or he's listening to Gas. Stop! Now he's just. What is up with this man? Officer's cruiser, Jimenez set his sights on the Good Samaritan who tried to slow him down. I don't get what this man is doing at all. Better be Sayu's version of Sonic. If not, we're all going to be so disappointed. Stop! 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 Don't do it! Cut it out! Cut it out! Cut it out! Thank you! Cut it out! Stop! Stop! He's trying to. Stop! No! He's trying to grab my gun! Get out the cliff! Get out the cliff! Get out the. Jeez! I'm gonna fing take it out. Now, time to watch. What's your problem? Probably in psych ward. Uh huh. Just let it go. Cut it out. You stop. Stop. I do not get what's going on with this guy at all. Stop trying to bite me. <laughs> now he's trying to bite her. What are you, a vampire? Rip this shit, dog. I swear. Hold up, I need to. Hold up, I need Shut the f up. Hold up. You guys are f. I go finish and take me to hell. Shut the f up. Are you sure to give me Shut up! Jeez. Did you make that fight here? Yes, thank you. I told you it's been a closet in his mouth. Shut up. Shut up! And they're still telling him to shut up. Holy. I checked him for weapons, but. Yeah, I'm pregnant, so I need to, I need to guess. You know it's your unlucky day when you try to carjack someone who knows a handful of wrestling moves. Now, we're no experts, but that looked like a solid arm bar. Jimenez was arrested. You better put restraints on his arms and his legs. And that guy is out of control. He was on the run after cutting off the ankle monitor he was required to wear from a previous arrest. Hopefully, they kept him behind bars this time. Clearly, Mr. Jimenez doesn't understand the concept of house arrest. You don't get to walk around freely after trying to run over a cyclist and assaulting a pregnant police officer. He was under house arrest? No wonder he's insane. <laughs> Willoughby, Ohio is a small city in Lake County, about 20 miles east of Cleveland. It's home to about 24,000 people, including one of the most insufferable men you will ever meet. It was September 10th of 2022. Willoughby police officer Stacy Wright had just pulled over a black Chevy for speeding. The driver, 64-year-old David Kobeck, was going 57 in a 35 mile per hour zone. All he had Jeez. To do was hand over his license. Saying, of course it's someone in America. I was waiting for you to come in and say that. Hello. 
<laughs> I was waiting to see how long it would take for you to say it. Yep, of course it'd be America. Good morning, how are you, ages? How was your weekend? Why are you getting out of the car, sir? Why is your driver's license in the back seat? Your driver's license should always be in your glove box. In the back seat. It was an obvious red flag, so officer. Just got here, lol. I would have missed it. Apparently, he doesn't like taking orders. You still saw it though. Alone, the police. It was good. How was yours? Pretty good, thanks. We had some. We had some dinner yesterday at Fox's house and had monster. So it was pretty good. Put your hands behind your back. I will tase you, sir. Touch the vehicle. Put your hands on the fucking vehicle now. Okay, he may be aggressive, but Officer she did, she probably did, had things under. Control. She didn't have to push him. Didn't stop this good Samaritan from tackling Kobeck like a linebacker. What the? She didn't really have to push him. I don't know. She could have been a bit more civil. She is a cop, after all. Roll over on your stomach now. It's really taking four guys to hold down this one guy. Jesus Christ. You don't do that to a woman. Do you understand me? Cop or not, you don't do that to a woman. She's right, you don't do it to a woman. Other people quickly came to assist in the arrest, and thankfully, neither our officer nor any civilians were harmed. Kobeck was arrested and charged with felony assault, speeding, and not wearing a seatbelt. Before the judge sentenced him to six months in prison, again, American, also, he a, had the uh, audacity to compare himself to. She could have been a bit calmer about the situation, that but that guy has a problem with both women and police, clearly. And was Definitely, yeah. Police brutality. We there's two. Speaks for itself. There's two ways to look at it. Mainly, she could have not pushed him. 2018 was supposed in my opinion. To be a quiet day at this Columbus, Ohio library. Bill had spent the morning there with his grand. You know, we're just getting closer getting and closer to Canada. <laughs> when he heard police sirens approaching, he looked left to see a man running toward him. Don't don't tell me I'm wrong. His waistband, and Bill could hear police yelling. Drop we're slowly gun, moving over states. He narrated the rest of the story while police body cam captured everything on camera. Saw that you guys were chasing, and I could see that holding something in his waistband while he was running from you guys. But he had a pretty good lead, just coming my way. So I got in his way to slow him down, so you guys could get him. To the building, he's going to have to go left or right. And if he went to the right, he's going to run. If he went to the left, he was coming by me. I heard him hit, and then the gun went sliding. Oh, geez, that guy just tripped him. <laughs> the gun as fast as he could and that's when I ducked out of the way. He peeks out to check to see where the dude is and he keeps doing it and then he just waits. And you, you tell he's timing it up perfectly. <laughs> we made that decision early and it's great watching that footage. Again, can I <laughs> thank you enough, sir. Uh, you are now a standing community member. No, well, thank you. I standing community that. member <laughs> just for tripping a guy. To help. Now, Columbus you is know, proud to have you. I think people Thanks to Bill, police were able to arrest the 18-year-old suspect. According to their report, Bill's quick thinking likely saved the kid's life. When he tripped, the Glock 9mm in his waistband went flying. I've seen this one. This, that, on him, that guy was awesome. Was out of reach. Has he done more like he this? If he dropped it, well, you can use your imagination. Unfortunately, the teenager already had a lengthy criminal That's record. insane. They he just to jail, trips so an 18-year-old. What happened next? And he would have fell on a hard concrete too. Everyone knows professional wrestling is fake, but that doesn't stop some from imitating the moves. One man in Provo, Utah, had been working on his body. No, no, I've just seen this clip. It ah, came okay. In handy when this police officer found himself in a fight, it was July 25th of 2018. Officer Austin Williams was responding to a wellness check at the Sam's Club in Provo. A disoriented man in a gray shirt was allegedly walking around asking people for water. The two inevitably crossed paths, and a fight ensued. Uh, we're, 
We're just looking for a guy that had a gray shirt, but he had something else on the front. So, thanks. No, you're good. Thank you. 246, I'll be out with them. Uh, we're going to be right by the pumps on the uh, west side. How you doing, man? Hey, somebody called and said they were worried about you, said you were asking for water or something. What? Are you doing okay? Save. Sorry? Hey, don't touch. Trying to grab a police officer gun, fighting them as an unarmed person might get shot. Dude. Come here. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Jeez. That escalated quickly. Hmm? Yeah. Sure. Toasted. The suspect was 34 year old Emiliano Medina. He'd been harassing people at Sam's Club all morning and was allegedly high on drugs. Things escalated when Medina reached for Officer Williams' weapon and then punched him in the head. Police and oh, no, no. to identify the man who body slammed Medina. Had he not been there, Medina would have likely Doesn't escaped. matter. Williams' backup was They're far free. away hey, from the foot it's race. Closer, and I poured it. Fair. February 20th, 2017. Police oh. in Barry. It's nice. Michigan what do you mean? Are after a stolen <laughs> motorcycle. A <laughs> driver, 21 year old Michael <laughs> Barber, <laughs> stole the bike that morning. That was a taste flavor. I don't even have it anymore. Dash cam footage from I mean, Trooper Gary Guild's oh. cruiser captured the end of the pursuit. Funny thing is, the guy in grey could have probably could probably sue the guy with probably sue the guy who bought who bought something. him. Yeah, right, definitely. He crashed, he crashed. Trooper Guild exits his cruiser to confront Michael, which is where the audio cuts. A struggle ensues, and Whoa. Guild gets Michael to the ground. Then suddenly, another car pulls up, and a man runs out. Meet 19-year-old Travis Wise. He's Michael's brother and will do anything to keep the law off his family's back. Literally. Jeez. Travis puts Trooper Guild in a chokehold. Michael gets up and the fight turns into an unfair two versus one. That's when two good Samaritans pull over and race to Trooper Guild's aid. That's they insane. The brothers off and both men were arrested. Barbara was found guilty on six counts, including assault by strangulation. He was sentenced in 2017 and will likely spend the next several years behind bars. Yeah, definitely. White Settlement, Texas is a small city Texas. outside of Fort Worth. It's home to about 18,000 people and a former security guard who misses you have, the action. You have Michael so many places, so many weird places in America. You have Kansas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee. What the, who came up with these names? These names are so weird. People and a former security guard who misses the action. Corporal John Porter and his partner were responding to a call about a stolen vehicle. The man in blue abandoned it after police pulled him over. He took off on foot, kickstarting a marathon chase in the 90 degree heat. When Porter ran out of steam, a good Samaritan was there to give him a ride. <laughs> They have places called... No, they don't. You're bullshitting. Pee Pee Creek. You're, you're bullshitting. <laughs> Dude, how far are you running at all? Had to get a taxi, don't mind me. I'm getting dizzy. What happens when you run? Come on, goddamn! I got you don't yeah, believe me. Shut up. Is it the creek? Okay. I find that very hard to believe. Oh. He's got, I got it, I got it. 62. Uh, he's in custody. Both our units in the vehicle are at 700 South Cherry at the other side. Meet Officer Sam Brown. He's dreamed of being a police officer since he was a little boy. 
Sadly, he was born missing one arm, and every department but it's true nonetheless. rejected him. Thankfully, Just because it's on the internet does not mean it's true. He may lack in arms, he made up more <laughs> in legs. He sprinted over half a mile. I am no longer saying I don't believe you. Pounds worth of gear and clothes. Let's leave it at that. He remembers looking over his shoulder and seeing Porter arrive by car. Our good Samaritan was Jimmy Davis. He saw the chase go by his house and hopped in his car to follow. He's a former security guard who wanted in on the action. Lucky for Porter, okay. he was there to offer a ride. As for our suspect, 31-year-old <clears throat> Josh Brown was arrested and charged with unauthorized use of a vehicle, evading arrest, and possession of a stolen credit card. Bonus. We love bonuses. On June 9th of 2017, officers in Ferndale, Michigan were attempting to perform a traffic stop on a 26-year-old male after a license plate check came back for multiple traffic warrants and license suspensions. Immediately, the suspect fled from police, drove down a sidewalk, and into an open area. He was approaching a shopping center when a good Samaritan saw the chase and decided to intervene. Dude, your engine sounds crap <laughs> for a police officer. Just crashed out. Nah, he crashed to help him. Get your fucking hands up! Back up! Get your fucking hands up and stay there! Alright, stream time. Have a good one. Later. Let me start on myself soon anyway here. The suspect was taken into custody by police without further incident. Officers told reporters that they wouldn't recommend the public intervene like this, but in this instance, the bystander likely saved lives. A shopping center likely. full of people walking around and a high-speed police pursuit are not a winning combo. Inside the suspect's car, police found a loaded handgun as Jeez. well as heroin. He was charged with carrying a concealed weapon, fleeing, possession of narcotics, driving with a suspended license, and third degree eluding. Safe to say he won't be running from the cops anytime soon. <laughs> Definitely not. Back in May of 2021, an officer in Volusia County, Florida was going about his business when a black Ford F-150 crossed all lanes of traffic and nearly hit him. The cop pulled up behind the truck and attempted a traffic stop. From the jump, the suspect's behavior was aggressive and erratic. But it wasn't until he attempted to put the man in handcuffs that the suspect decided to start fighting the officer. And that's when of course, they always to try to start a fight. Control. What, is, what are you doing? You, yeah, you're, you're crazy. You're going crazy here. Call the, call okay. The police. Call the, call the police. We are. What's going on? Because you're about to you almost crash into me. Don't say. Calm down. What's your name? Frampolina. Frampolina. I no, 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 no. You gotta stay right here. Come back here a second. Come back here a sec. Hey. No, 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 sir, sir. Come back here, Come back here man. Come on, hold on. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back, man. Put your hands on your back. Stop. Calm down. Does he have dogs? I can hear dogs. Jeez. He does have dogs. Oh no. Get on the ground. Get the dog. Get on the Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Come on, Put your hand behind your back. Put your fucking hand behind your back. Nobody's gonna kill you. It ain't working, buddy. It ain't working. They wanna kill me. They wanna kill me. Oh. Oh. Calm down, we got one custody. You okay, sir? You bleeding? No, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, I am. You're, you're bleeding? Oh, yeah. okay, so. You good? Yeah. Everybody okay? We're going to the rescue. What happened to him? Hey! Relax! Police released a statement thanking the two good Samaritans who stepped up to help subdue the suspect. Both men said they saw what was happening and immediately jumped out of their cars to help. 
The suspect was charged with resisting an officer with violence, battery on an officer, driving with a suspended license, careless Ooh. driving, and expired registration. As for the two men who helped, they both received Citizens Awards in recognition of their actions. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see we you in the next We just one. might. That was interesting. Some people are absolutely insane.